Hey guys, and welcome to day 14 of some kind of lie or I'm literally just gonna tell my teacher that it looks like crap and I'm gonna redo it but my teacher's a bit evil so I don't know whether he'd accept either scenario but yeah and I'm too lazy to go to school so my dad says he's gonna give me a lift so I should probably hurry up and go downstairs and get a lift yeah cool got an itch in between my eyebrows, it's a really, really awkward place to get it. <laughs> um, I got socks on. I have got socks on. Why am I missing something? What do I? What else do I go to school? Right. This is why it's something really stupid, and I'm really stupid. Or well, it's not really obvious, right? Brows, jumper, skirt. I'm wearing my school. See that. Like. Blazer. Blazer. How the hell do I forget that? It's freaking massive. Oh, I need someone to put you guys so I can talk. There you go. It's not really good lighting. It's just guys, right? Anyway, blazer's on. <coughs> Ugh. Morning breath is skanky. This is the more skanky. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't show you guys last night is I got a little like bath bomb thing from my um, friend Lexi. It's really cute, it's a little star, it's got a little bath bomb And I have where I put the box that Lily gave me, which I showed you guys yesterday. I have lit the star up against it, which I won't be able to get back. No, it wasn't that, will I? I have lit the star against it, there you go, it's quite cute. Because it's like the same as the lid, they look the same as the lid. And it kind of goes together, it's quite cute. Okay. I need to find out what lessons I have today, other than art. What is this? Oh, no, it's, um, <sighs> music notes. That's what it is. Oh, I have music on Tuesday next week. Oh, my voice. Well, then. Nice to know I sound, um, normal. Healthy, you know, good. Her teens are really cool. In Nazareth, our city is full of joy. Because this is where girl meets boy. That's what we're doing for our mental Christmas competition thing this year. And it sounds terrible. Anyway, art. Yeah, I don't need anything for that because I'm pretty sure it's already at school. Yeah, I didn't take it home. Chemistry, I don't know where my chemistry folder is. I think I've lost it. Or oh, it's just in my locker and I'm the biggest knob of the century. Anyway, English, that's that skill. Did I have any homework? Oh crap, I had loads of homework. I'll do that at break time. I'll copy of someone else's some cool. History, history, where? My history folder. I guess that's at school then. And music, so I don't need any books today. Kill. I am all cool with that. I also just realised I need bags to get to school tomorrow for the panther. So I'm not unpacking this one yet. So, yeah. Interesting. Oh, I might also do my biology homework at lunch. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to leave my biology folder up in my bag. You know when you're that much of a lonely little nerd that you take homework to school to do? Because you have nothing better to do with your life. Well, that's me. <laughs> okay, right. Oh god, got itch on my head. Have I got a hairband? Yes, I've got an actual, like, decent hairband. Yes, because you never know when I want to put my hair up. Get out of my face. I mean, I have this one for show because it looks nice, but I mean, I have this one because I hairband. Yeah. Okay, you got so scared. I am not too impressed. <laughs> 
Slow motion. <laughs> Slow motion. You guys probably can't see, but. And there's me scream. This bitch, right, this is our bakery where we come like whenever, all right? During break and lunch and stuff and before school. Should and I put both modes on my story. Sorry. Sure. Sure. And basically, you see there's like the windows in the door, right? As I came up to open the door, this, like looking in, the whole room was black. And I was like, huh? It's weird for Rachel to not be here before me. I open the door, I look in this way, and here's Rachel's bag. Uh, there, right? But I can't see Rachel because it's black. And I go to turn the lights on, and this bitch comes out from behind the door here and goes, Rah! and I just said, I was like, Rah! I didn't even process that it was Rachel, and then I just fell to the floor. Uh, yeah, so bitch. Love you. Bloody well. We just got that bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, catch in. Replay, oh, oh. replay, and then we'll do it in slow motion as well because I got my kids. Let me try and see. Here we go, catch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kid you not, guys. She literally fell against the wall. Like, she went flat back against the wall. That's quite funny. I'm sorry. Catch I love you. Catch in. Catch in. I love it because I was just sat, but you can't see now. Catch in, Platt. She's just joking. I was sat in this chair here eating my pasta in the, in the dark. dark, like a real creep. Oh, and she comes in, she's like, Why aren't the lights on? Where's Rachel? And Rachel's like, Rah! And I'm just like, Ha ha, bitch, you got a fool. What time is it? Oh, shut up. It's currently 20 to 11. I am still at work with my dad. I didn't think I told you guys that I was coming here, but I came to work with my dad. Basically, we're at my friend's uh, pub and we're just doing some security because they're having some stuff doing. My dad's talking to the guy, by the way, not the guy who runs the pub, the guy who's doing the work. And uh, yeah, so I'm just chilling with him to keep him, to keep my dad company, and because I have nothing better to do. And tomorrow I am going to the Panto, which is why this vlog was late, because I'm not at home. I am, uh, uh, yeah. Do we have any rings at our house? No. This is a pub that my mum used to work in. And these friends are friends that I have had literally my... I, well, not even literally, my whole life. Like my dad's been friends with um, the guy who owns this pub for like 30 years or something. Crazy, I don't know. Which is brilliant. And then I'm friends with like their kids and everything. And I've had them my whole entire life. And this pub is like home to me. It's called The Pilot. It's in a place called Dungeon Ash. I suggest you all if you can should check it out it's a really really good pub uh yeah and like i said it is like home to me i know where everything is and i come i walk in here and i just feel like i'm five again because my mum used to work here so we used to spend a lot of time down here I don't spend as much time down here i haven't done it in recent years but um, you never know. I might be having a summer job here next year, which would be really, really fun. Working down here every day, that'd be sick. And my dad's iPad's about to turn off, and I don't know his password, so I need to go back and watch some PLL.